Hey Ariel, it's Mike. Uh, sorry for the long delay in getting back to you, but uh, that is a tough problem. I didn't look at that carefully, and I thought I had a different one. I picked a different one that I was going to do that I had done. I thought, and so I said, I'm going to help her out with this, but I'm not going to count it. I'm going to take it off the test or the homework. But I'm going to tell you a little about it anyway, and I thought I'd include this because my writing is so bad, and it's not gotten any better with me having my little nerve injury. But what the problem was, I think you might remember, was you had this uh, uh, sealed compartment here that had, was, had, had uh, didn't give you some dimensions, but it tell you some of them, went up to 11 meters here, and with a sealed container, I didn't mark it all off like I should have, because I was just kind of thinking about it as I did it. Uh, and so this was a three atmosphere pressure here. And you remember, one of the things I liked about your work on this, you got real close, and you were going to be close to the answer, but I wasn't sure of that, and I thought, that's this is strange anyway. Uh, so, the two, the pressure differential here, this is, is the 300, uh, or the three atmospheres, uh, and so we're going to use the Bernoulli's equation, which is the continuity equation, uh, between points one and two, and I, after I said that, I got in this, I had to get a new ink pen, so I have a different color, and then I got, and then I did mark everything like I should have. Up here was point one, or this is just at the interface there, and then point two would have been a hole down here at the bottom, which I didn't really draw. And so what they wanted, what what they asked for, I think, was the velocity of the of the fluid through this little hole. Okay, so you got to use the continuity equation, but you got to make some assumptions about it too. So I drew it here as best I could, and, and forgive my writing. Uh, and then you take uh, the a continuity equation at this point, and so you we're we're looking here for what I call v1. V1 is the velocity of the water at this point, and that's like always that's the ratio of the areas times v2. But, or, or pardon me, yes, uh, so, but because V1 is so much less than V2, we can call that zero. Uh, and that's an assumption that might be, this is a little sketchy, there might be a little bit we couldn't make. So we can, uh, so if we get rid of that term because it's zero, then we have this much more simple equation, which you actually got pretty close to, so maybe you'd, we're getting that way. I didn't look at the problem that carefully. Uh, <clears throat> and you see, let's let this this P2 equal the PA, which is the, the pressure here at this area. And you rearrange this equation and you solve for it, and like kind of like you did, um, two times this pressure differential here, which is three atmospheres. You got to convert the units to pascals, and then just plug in everything else that you kind of know, and you end up getting about 28. 0.4 meters per second is the is the uh, fluid velocity at that point. I hope you can kind of read this. I hope you can understand it a little bit and look of, look upon this as this is your first uh, email YouTube broadcast. I don't know. Anyway, you take care, and if you got any other questions about this, just let me know, and I'll try to be faster about it next time. Bye bye.